Before you move on to the next stage in this project, you want to make sure that your black paint is totally dry. It will be very difficult to do the drawing if your black paint is not dry. When the paint has dried, it's time to add some decorative elements using metallics. We have both metallic uh, oil pastels as well as some metallic pencils that can be used to add larger or smaller details to your cat. The only requirement is that you need to have the eye of Horus and think about where some details might look good on your cat. The eye of Horus is a design that is created from creating the very recognizable Egyptian eyeliner. So make sure that you line both edges of your cat's eye, as well as adding lines underneath and above. In the gold. And I'm going to switch to color pencil here just to show you you can use that tool as well, although it's not quite as shiny as the oil pastel, but you can get some finer lines and finer details if needed. I'm going to sort of layer these together. I'd also like you to have a necklace or collar set of jewelry on your cat. But this can be designed in any way that you wish, with any colors that you wish, and should include several layers and variations of color and patterns. Notice how the front end is wider than the back end.
when you feel like you have enough good details, it's okay to stop. One thing to think about is the edges of your cat and the way that the jewelry should be looking like it's sitting on your cat, not inside your cat. So I'm actually going to go <clears throat> to the edges here and just make sure that they are extending slightly beyond the edges of my cat so that it really looks like they are wrapping around the cat's arm or neck um, and not just ending at the edge of the cat. So you want to make sure the jewelry looks like it's a little bit bigger than your cat itself. Um, this might involve just extending your edges just like I'm doing um, or something else. a mistake with uh, oil pastel, you can slightly fix it by uh, scratching off some of the oil pastel and then using an eraser to erase the white areas. Um, if you make a mistake where you're on the black, it's a little bit more tricky because you might end up erasing the black paint, which you may not want to do. So <clears throat> just be careful and um, think about your choices and your edges um, as you work. But if you do make mistakes, there are ways to try to fix it if you need to.